Hello. Good morning. Uh, yeah, it is still morning. It's 1050 here in California. Um, I just wanted to discuss a couple of things with you guys and, uh, and a couple of books. Uh, it seems that every time I'm helping a client with a physical ailment, um, there seems to be an emotional cause for it, an emotional root. Uh, most of the time this happens with adults, but it also happens with children. I help a lot of children with autism, um, children on the autism spectrum. And uh, autism means to the self, to one's self. Um, so even in cases such as autism where we know uh, there is a, uh, a biological component. There is a the component of microfilm in the digestive system, um, uh, biofilm, which is uh, preventing our children uh, from digesting the nutrients that they need. Uh, there, there, there are neurological aspects to autism, but um, there's also an emotional aspect. Uh, there used to be a phenomenon that was, uh, it's probably politically incorrect, to talk about uh, these days, but it's called the refrigerator mother syndrome. And, uh, to be on the autism spectrum were um, children who were maybe neglected or abandonedly uh, and fulfilled emotionally as much um, as they could have been. But, you know, these are all different theories. But there is definitely an adult clients of mine, there, there's definitely a connection between um, physical illness and emotions, right? Now, with biomagnetic pair therapy, we use pairs of magnets to polarize pH imbalances in the body that are caused by the presence of physical pathogens, pathogens, virus, bacteria, fungus, and parasites. Um, these things happen. We ingest food uh, that may have bacteria or fungus or whatever. Uh, we come in contact with people who may be carrying viruses and, and we, we catch them from people. Um, this is a reality. A lot of the um, times when a person suffers a failure of an organ or an illness in the body, there is an emotional component. Right. What I want to talk about, um, because I found that treating clients' um, mental health or emotional health, as well as the health, is uh, is what we call a holistic approach to healthcare. And uh, let me try a few people on here before I go into here uh, more deeply into this. Um, for example, you know, I come across people uh, that come to me for physical and I will treat them with uh, biomagnetism. And, you know, when you're doing biomagnetic pair therapy, you're not only using the energy of the magnets, you're also using your own physical body, your own magnet, your own uh, biomagnet, if you will, or your own, your body's own energy, you're in a sense, uh, something similar to Reiki, where you're using the energy of your own body uh, to feel, diagnose, and to also help the, the client. So it's important for magnetic paratherapists to be hydrated and, uh, and to be balanced emotionally. And, you know, having all of these tools at our disposal, we tend to uh, provide our treatments for ourselves more frequently than one else. And this is what we call biohacking, or when we're dealing with the brain, we're, we call it neurohacking. Um, now, how does this tie in? Well, there's a little bit to understand about the difference between thoughts and emotions, right? Emotions are think and you shall feel, but they are not motives for action, right? Every time uh, we act on an emotion, every time we act in reaction to an emotion, we end up regretting it. it, it this is probably uh, more so with men than women, and I'm not trying to make a sexist comment, um, but uh, this is what I've noticed, okay? As long as we understand the, the relationship between thought and emotion, then that helps us to kind of uh, uh, our 
our, our lives better because we're, not, we're being more rational and we're not being as emotional in our decision-making process. However, this doesn't change what thoughts, the, this doesn't change the relationship between thoughts and emotions. You have a thought, you think it, it you think it within context of all of the other things that you know and that you remember, and it causes an emotional uh, response contextually, right? If two people uh, walked into a room and only one of those people was a student and the teacher decided to give a pop quiz, only one of them would be nervous. The one who's not a student in the class wouldn't have anything at stake, a bad grade by failing a quiz. So uh, thoughts, emotions, contextually. Thoughts begin in the brain down your spine, which is also your governing meridian, if you understand uh, uh, acupuncture, and go in. Thoughts are stored as emotions in the body. This is why you get a gut feeling or a gut reaction or, um, you know, th th there is so much uh, uh, physicality that comes up with emotions, right? You're nervous about a job interview, you have butterflies in your stomach. Uh, I mean, it's, it's every, every intense emotion. Um, there, there, there's a physical uh, response or a physical connection. So it's important to treat the whole person and um, to um, attack, right? For lack of a better word, all of these different uh, um, diseases uh, from both, from, from every aspect, okay? So we do that here at the Biomed Rx Health Center. I want to recommend a couple of books. Uh, the Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson, okay? And uh, this is a very good book. And it discusses the uh, relationship, thoughts and emotions, and how uh, emotions are stored in the body. It also explains a very good um, procedure, which I call a Meridian Cleanse. Uh, cleanse helps to unstick trapped emotions and it helps you um, let go, release that, uh, that connection between the mind uh, that may be holding on to negative emotions or uh, in, a, in a meridian. If you look, if you think in terms of acupuncture, right, the governing meridian starts here, goes right over the head and right down the spine to the cossacks, to the tailbone, okay? So what we do is uh, we take a magnet, and yes, these are magnets. I'll show you how strong they are. They're sticking to each other through this wooden spoon, right? They'll actually stick through my hand, as you can see, okay? Very powerful magnets, all right? I wrap them in leather because they would actually fly through the air and break chips stronger than the metal that holds it, okay? And I try to fold the negative pole. I know the poles of these magnets. This is the negative, this is the positive pole, okay? And then you start, and you run it across the governing meridian, okay? A number of times. Good to say a prayer beforehand. It's good to give yourself permission to release whatever trapped emotions you think you or feel you may have um, and get rid of them, right? And get rid of them. Um, the first three passes are for you. From what they say, the next three passes are things that you may have inherited from your parents. The next three passes are things that you may, or the following passes are things that uh, you may have inherited from either past lives of your own or from ancestors that preceded your parents. And um, so emotional uh, meridian cleansing, you want to do that with a guy to get a good magnet or a really, really industrial strength. Because these magnets are contraband. I had to have them shipped into the United States in special, under special uh, conditions. Um, the Emotion Code. I recommend this book here by Lisa Borbeau called your body is telling you love yourself okay body is telling you love yourself this is a very good book believe it or not the most complete book on metaphysical causes of illness 
and disease, okay? So it's like a directory, okay? Goes through, you know, A through Z, and uh, you can, uh, any, anything, you know, uh, any, any illness. I don't, I don't really want to read from the book, but, uh, you know, it's kind of technical. But uh, any, any particular type of physical illness you may have, uh, there are suggestions here for the mental and emotional root causes of the illness that, that you're dealing with, with the person that you're dealing with. Okay. Um, now, back to our attack, the attack that we do here at the Biomed RX Health Center. Uh, we use this device. This device is the Mind Alive David, uh, which is a brain entrainment device. It uh, uses audio visual entrainment, AVE, uh, through specific frequencies of light, specific colors and of light on both the left and right uh, field of vision for both eyes, because both eyes speak to both hemispheres of the brain individually. And uh, the most fascinating thing about this particular device um, and mind alive, this CES cranial electrotherapy stimulation. So in cranial stimulation, we use tiny pulses of electricity, which are delivered through these ear clips, and it stimulates your brain to nephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine uh, in perfect balance. And it's very good. Most of us are dopamine, I mean, uh, Serotonin, okay? At the moment you have a negative emotion uh, or whatever, whatever it might be, right? Um, the frontal lobe is robbed of serotonin. And at that time we can't recognize others' emotions by their face, by their facial expression. So we don't have empathy, we lack empathy. And that puts us in fight or flight mode, okay? So obviously, it's a multifaceted approach. If uh, if you know um, you balance the serotonin, okay, use neural feedback, which I can't really move everything to the next room to demonstrate how we do neural feedback electrodes to the brain, and show you a movie, and or you play a video game, and undesirable brainwave activity is discouraged by making the movie temporarily blurry um, or occluding it in some way. And in that process, we're training the brain to work more efficiently. At the same time, we're working away the kinks of dysregulation that occur as a result of feeling intense emotions in life. And we all go through it, right? Um, the overaccumulation of such dysregulation is called PTSD. Right, it's called post-traumatic stress disorder. Effects of PTSD or the effects of relation of dysregulation in the neocortex. So we're training the dysregulation out of the neocortex back. This particular technology makes neural feedback more effective. We are balancing the endorphins in the brain and most importantly serotonin through. Uh, cranial electrotherapy stimulation and brain and brainwave entrainment. We are disrupting the flow of energy from negative thoughts, repressed memories, and the, the emotions that are stored in the body uh, through the emotion code. We are connailments. Uh, uh, what roots uh, in the emotions may be the causes for uh, clients' physical ailments uh, through this and many other um, resources that we have. And lastly, we are reviewing the imbalances that have resulted from this disease, disease uh, body using pairs of permanent magnets in biomagnetic paratherapy. And it is through this, you know, mind, uh, emotion, body connection that we're able to push a person to a higher set, a higher state of wholeness. And once we get a grip on illness, once we're able to uh, 
rid the person of, uh, of the illnesses that are bothering them, then we can get into the more advanced things like uh, raising their energy, raising their vibral feedback uh, buttons that, uh, that can focus on uh, relieving repressed emotions and uh, uh, supercharging the brain or accessing the zone if you're an athlete um, or enhancing creativity or uh, wow things that we can do and this is not healthcare this is biohacking this is taking this is what you do when you're bodybuilding at the gym or when you're working out you're taking a good body and you're making it better we're biohacking while we're on a subject uh when we're talking about um, advanced energy healing and advanced uh, energy work. We want to look at Moldavite. I've spoken about this on several videos before. Tectite is a piece of glass, natural glass, a tectite, that by a meteorite slamming into Earth about 15 million years ago in Germany. And uh, it uh, landed, most of it landed in Czechoslovakia and uh, near the Moldon, I believe it is, Moldon River. So that's why it's called uh, Moldavite. Anyway, um, this is a very high energy tectite. Okay, it's very limited supply. It's more uh, scarce than gold, but it is very good for spinning your top three chakras, your third eye chakra, and your crown chakra. It's very good for all three. Um, so there you go. That's getting us more into uh, the advanced um, biohacking or neurohacking. And as whenever I'm atomic gold, because monoatomic gold, um, it was known as the food of the gods. Uh, it's written about in the Egyptian hieroglyphs. It is uh, written about in the Bible. It's written about in the in the story of uh, um, Moses. I mean, yeah, of Moses when he returned and found that his followers had a golden calf. He instructed them to burn it. Gold's right, but uh, it was a different pr process that he was talking about. Uh, he instructed them to burn the calf and to uh, mix the powder and uh, drink it. Um, that's Ormus, that's monoatomic gold. And that's something that uh, if you take on a daily basis, it will re raise your sensitivity to energies and especially the high. So that kind of takes you into the, the, the advanced ways of being. This is what you have available for you here at the Biomed RX Health Center. I had to do a shameless plug there. And uh, look us up online at biomedrxhealthcenter.com. Um, yeah. So I guess that kind of wraps it up. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, advanced biohacking and neurohacking. Uh, as a recap, I wanted to talk about um, the Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson. I highly suggest you buy a copy of this book. And uh, while you do it, get yourself a couple of powerful magnets, or at least one, where you can do the vibed in the emotional code, the emotion code. And uh, a good a good book to have also is Lise Borbeau, uh, L-I-S-E, Lise Borbeau, Your Body is Telling You, Love Yourself, the most complete book on metaphysical causes of illnesses and diseases. I highly